Hello, it's Ryan from 2MinuteTennis.net, and in this video, I'm going to give you one simple tip you can copy from Roger Federer's serve to help improve the speed of your serve. Now, in this video, we're going to be focusing on the Nike that is written on Federer's shirt. I want you to watch as he's rotating his body and the racket drops, I want you to watch the rotation of of the Nike. So watch where his Nike is facing. Right now, the Nike on his shirt is facing this way. And now we can see it facing this way, right? So we can see that the Nike on his shirt is rotating. I want you to watch the rotation of the Nike as he's hitting the ball. And I want you to tell me if his chest is rotating faster or if it's rotating slower when he gets to the ball. Check this out. It's rotating, it's rotating. Now watch. See how it's no longer rotating as fast? Watch. I'm going to just play this in, in continuous slow motion. Watch his chest slow down. The Nike on his shirt slows down as he's hitting the ball. The reason for this, and you know most pros do this, is they drop their tossing arm out in front of them and then they start bringing it back in against their body to tuck that tossing arm as a reactive break. See, when you are rotating your body, if you begin bringing your tossing arm in against your body after it's dropped out in front, that's the key, and then you start bringing it in, that's actually a reactive break. And what that does is it slows down your body. Your body's rotation slows down by tucking that tossing arm in against your body. Now, this video from Essential Tennis, thanks guys for allowing me to use this video. Make sure you subscribe to them. I put their uh, link in the description below. This video is of him just hitting nice light serves. When he's really attacking his serve, he really brings this tossing arm in against his body as a reactive break. But what you want to do is slow the body's rotation down as a way to accelerate the racket. When I, I post this, I always get, there's a bit of controversy because people always say, no, 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 just like a gymnast or a, a diver or a figure skater, they'll pr pull both arms in to speed up, to speed up the rotation. No, not in a throwing motion when it's only one arm. When you're doing this only with one arm, and you bring the tossing arm in against your body, that helps slow the body's rotation. And when you slow the body's rotation, it's like a whip and the racket accelerates off of the body. It's called a reactive break. If you're looking to hit a faster serve, and again, just film yourself and look at your chest rotation. Start to rotate into your serve and then bring that tossing arm in against your body to slow the body's rotation down to help facilitate that whip. I want you to go out and film yourself. Make sure you're doing this. If you toss and then drop the tossing arm out and pull it in, there's no doubt you're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.